Hello, my name is Gaurav and in this video, we'll see that how you can apply or uh, should get referral for the companies like Microsoft, Apple, Google, Hotstar and, and all the other companies as well. So based on my experience, I will share some generic uh, tricks and tips so that can help you while applying and a little on how you can prepare for these companies for that particular role. So let's begin. So first of all, you should type the word careers and the company name in which you want to apply. So I have opened career Microsoft. Similarly, I can open career Google. Okay. And let's say career Hotstar as well. So we'll take the example of uh, these three. So when I type career Microsoft, I would be seeing the website of Microsoft where they have put all the jobs that are available. So most of the companies, whenever there is a job ID, they will be putting it on their careers portal for sure, whether uh, it came internally for referral or it comes for the external world, it will definitely be there on their careers website. So you should open that and then search for, let's say, let's say I want to search for a job which are in Java and I want to search only in India. Right, so these filters are already available, so I can click on find jobs. Then I would be seeing all the jobs that are there. Right, if you see, there are 71 results and some results of four days ago. Right, even I can apply further filters. Example, what is the role type, employment type, professional work site? Right, I want maybe 100% work from home. Okay, I got five results that these are the 100% work from home jobs. So senior software engineer, and these are the qualification. And what you can do is if, even if your qualifications are matching 50% uh, or whatever they require, still I would say that apply for it because sometimes uh, job descriptions are having so many details, right? And you think that, okay, how could a person know that much? So even if you know 50%, there are chances because there are other people also in the same boat, right? So there is no problem in applying, right? So you can directly apply or you can ask for referral as well, right? And there are some other features also. So for example, you can turn the job alert on where for which you need to sign in. So what will happen is that career site will send you notification when there are jobs relevant to that particular filter, right? I may, I may be shifting to Australia and I want to search for a job in Australia, right? So then I can type Australia and create an alert on that, right? So now when you ask for referral, right? So if you just ping that person and ask for referral, that is generally not a, a good way, right? Uh, or uh, I would not say not a good, but it's not the best way because that person don't know, right? If you see here, if I just search with Java and remove this filter, if somebody is a Java developer and they want me to refer, them to Microsoft, there are 71 results, right? I don't know that which one would suit that person. So you should do the homework if you want to apply for a company and let's say you are interested in this job. So when you click on it, generally you will get to see the job number over here, right? Or even this URL, you can just copy this URL because not all companies will have the job ID here, but a unique URL would definitely be there, right? Let's see that what's there for, uh, Google. So if I just open Google career site, so they are also having a similar thing. What kind of role where? So I will say software tester. Right? They have a job top software test engineer site. Many people say big companies don't have testing jobs, but they do have many of them, right? And let me search for that. Okay. So I got a job here, job opening, software test engineer, variables and so there are various ones, right? If I can click on this, learn more, then this URL is again unique. So if you just copy it and then if I open it in a incognito mode, so let's see, right? So it's taking to that unique job that is coming over here, right? So there are two ways. Uh, similarly, we can see for Hotstar as well, right? And some of the companies even have a job openings which are there on LinkedIn. 
right? So even if you click on LinkedIn, it will land you on this kind of page, right? Because, uh, or you, you can search also, right? Like, let's say on LinkedIn, you find some of these keywords, let's say as your cognitive search, right? That they might need or eight plus years of experience or something unique which you find in the job opening. You can search with that and then also search the job number. Let me remove this Australia. And now if you see that I searched with that particular thing and I got this. Now I have the job number. So if I need a referral, I can maybe ask someone from Microsoft that this is the link if they can refer me. Right. And now how you will ask like whom you want to get the referral with, right? So you can open LinkedIn. All right, let me open LinkedIn and you can search for that company. Let's say if I want to apply for Apple, right? I can search for the company Apple and generally it will show that which all uh, the people who are working and who are in your connections, right? So let me go to see all people results. And these are some maybe first connections which I have. I can search for the first connection. So these are the people who are already working uh, at Apple. And he's one of my friends who worked with me in Microsoft, right? So I can just message him that, uh, let's say this is, so, so this is the job ID, right? I know the job number. I can give this job number or I can directly give the link and I can ask him. Could you please refer me, right? And let me know if any further details are needed. Right, and I can attach my resume here, right? There's an option of attaching the resume. You can click on this button and attach the resume and also share a uh, basic data. So for example, my first name is Gaurav and because these are some common things and I can share my email ID, this is not new. ID this is just a sample that I have put right for at the rate gmail.com and my phone number as well, right? So because when somebody applies for you, they need these basic details and they have to open your resume and go into that. And people are generally busy, right? So we have to consider all those factors when you are asking for a referral, right? And when you ask some person, wait for one, two days so that they get the time to apply, right? Don't ask seven people together. Because what happens is one will refer you and when other will try it, will say that this person has already been referred, right? So it's a wastage of time for uh, multiple people when you try to do that. And they think that why he has given me when he or she has already got a referral from others. So no problem in asking multiple people, but uh, ask them with a gap, right? Unless the job is four months ago and it can end any time, right? So this is the way and referrals are generally given more preference. Even you can directly apply here, right? You can apply, you can log in with these and it will give you an option to create your profile and you can apply. So you can directly apply as well. You can get the referral as well, but always start with this career and the company name, right? Let me take open the Hotstar site as well, right? And the alerts option can help you. Uh, so that you know that when the jobs are coming. So that is a, a good way, right? And so let me skip here. There is a skip button. So I click on that. Okay, so this apply now. So I clicked on apply now. So I'm landing on this page. So now you see that there are job openings that are coming that are present in Hotstar. I'm interesting, interested in engineering department. Okay, let's see view more. So when I click on view more, I get a unique URL and this is the job opening that and the skills they are looking for, right? So I can just copy this and at the same time, click on this. It is asking for this full name, email, phone, current company, right? So I can just prepare these things and send it to a Hotstar employee who is in my connection because not every time all the people uh, may refer you if they don't know you, right? Some people will not refer you. Some companies also have the restriction that if you don't know the person directly, you should not refer them, but not all companies have this restriction, right? So let's see that. Okay. Here also we are seeing that which all jobs are there. 
So let's try to get a job from LinkedIn and see that. Okay, so there is an internship opportunity uh, that is there, right? I can click on apply and see that. Okay, it will directly apply from here. You can do that as well, right? Or go to their website and search for these keywords so that you can get the job number if you want the referral. Right. Or you can take the help of a Hotstar employee as well that how to maybe get the job number for this. Or you can share this link that, okay, this is the link. This is a job that I'm interested in. If you can help me with the referral, right? So now uh, comes the part that how you can, uh, okay, that how you can prepare for a particular job right so if you see that uh, these are the people who are working at uh, google right so if i want to apply for a test engineer job right search for that title and maybe connect with the people if you are not already connected if you don't have anybody uh, in there and you can request them that uh, to share the interview process or the kind of rounds they take right because there are various domains for uh, different teams that operate in a company, right? And they all have different interview process or things that like maybe they will ask you for a machine round, right? So if you're not prepared and suddenly um, you are asked to code, right? You do have coding knowledge, but you don't maybe code very frequently. You are at a senior level, but some companies have a requirement that they code, then you will be prepared for that kind of things, right? Or suddenly if somebody asks you to prepare a test plan and you are totally into automation and you have not uh, prepared for few months and years and not in touch, then you cannot give your best maybe, right? So it's just an example. So if you ask the people who are already in that role, right, they generally know about that, uh, how's the process and what are the, the major areas they will consider, right? Because some people think that, okay, there will be just data structure and algorithm only questions, right? So they will just prepare that only and other areas might get affected, right? So that can give you an idea that what all rounds are there and you can prepare accordingly. And as per that designation role, because in the same company for different kind of designations, because for Amazon, right, as I know that there are some just uh, QA roles and there are just SDET roles. So those roles are different and the expectation is different, right? So you can search here and ask those people that will help you in preparation. Okay, so let me summarize the whole thing. You can search for the word careers and then get the, then open that you can set alerts, right? And you can know the job number. When you ping someone for referral, ping that job number and the basic details, your name, first name, email ID, phone number, so that it's easy for the person and person can take action quickly, right? Because Sometimes the resumes are in PDF and if you click on copying the email, then it will open the Outlook and then person has to copy. And sometimes copying is difficult, right? Uh, uh, somebody, some people prepares the resume like that. So it's easy if you share them uh, so that it will just take two, three minutes of their time to refer you, right? And it's better uh, to ask for referral for the people who are in your first uh, connection, right? And just don't ask to refer me, right? Do the homework by coming to this. You can even set alerts uh, so that you can get the message when there are job openings, right? Some some companies might have that uh, rules system, right? Or alert system, I would say. And some companies might not have, right? And you can directly apply as well, or you can ask somebody for uh, referral as well. So hope you like it. And for the preparation, you can just uh, search for a similar designation somebody's having and ask them that what are generally the rounds and uh, what areas they will generally target to know about you, right? So hope you like the video and this will help you in getting referrals or applying for the job at all these companies, right? This is based on my experience and do subscribe to my channel. There are Various things I talk about testing and automation on my channel. You can just search with this or with this keyword. Thank you for watching.